Transitions. The bridge between your ideas. Hello, learners. Welcome back to our series on email writing. Today, we're going to focus on an essential part of communication, not just in email, but in all forms of writing, transitions. Transitions play a vital role in improving the readability and organization of your writing. They act as bridges between your ideas, guiding your readers through your thought process smoothly and coherently. Transitions are words or phrases that help carry a thought from one sentence to another, one idea to another, or from one paragraph to another. In other words, they are links that hold your ideas together, forming a coherent, organized message. For example, words like, however, therefore, on the other hand, and, in conclusion, among others, are transitional words. They make your writing easy to follow and understand by creating logical connections between your sentences and paragraphs. Remember, transitions are crucial for clear and effective communication. There are several types of transitions, each serving a unique purpose. Here are a few common ones. 1. Sequential transitions. These transitions show a numerical order, continuation, conclusion, or a summary. Examples are, first, second, finally, in conclusion. 2. Comparative transitions. These transitions compare or contrast two ideas. Examples are, however, on the other hand, nevertheless. 3. Cause and effect transitions. These transitions show cause and effect relationships. Examples include, therefore, as a result, consequently. 4. Exemplifying transitions. These transitions are used to give examples. For instance, for example, specifically, are a few examples. Understanding these types and when to use them will significantly improve your writing. While using transitions, remember that they should always enhance clarity and guide the reader. Here are some tips. 1. Don't overuse. Though transitions are essential, overuse can make your writing seem overly formal or robotic. Use them where they naturally fit. 2. Variety is key. Using the same transition words repeatedly can become monotonous. Mix it up. Use different transitions for different purposes to keep your writing engaging. 3. Placement. Transitions can go at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of sentences. Experiment with placement to see what reads best. Let's look at an example of an email with and without transitions. Without transitions, I read your proposal. It has potential. There are a few inaccuracies. These should be addressed. With transitions, I read your proposal and see that it has great potential. However, there are a few inaccuracies. These should be addressed. In the second example, transitions make the message smoother and more connected. That's all for today's video on transitions. As you can see, transitions are essential tools in your writing toolkit. They guide your reader through your thoughts, making your writing easy to follow and understand. So, next time you're writing an email, remember to use these bridges to connect your ideas. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful. Keep practicing, and see you in the next lesson.